Hey, David, thanks for sending in your swing here. I'm really looking forward to analyzing it. There's a couple of little things that um, we're going to look at. And obviously, I've got the split screen up, which is great. So I've got myself on the right and you on the left. So uh, anyone interested, please do submit your free swing order. It's in the notes in the description below. I'll be more than happy to do this for you and just click the link, follow the notes, and that'll be fantastic. Please do that. David did just, yeah. Okay, so as always, I like to try link it up at roughly the same contact point. So you can see we're in about the same contact point. I know we're in a slightly different position of the court, but let's just take a look at a couple of things that I think you've done really well. A lot of similarities here, which is really great. Love that setup. I talk about the one, two, three swing. So I'll just remind people one, two around your hips and then three at the contact point. One, two, three. Let's have a look at that. And it should go roughly in around that shape. Let's have a look at yours. I love your setup. I think I'm a big fan of that tilted racket head slightly over. I love where the racket base is looking all really good. So there's the one, there's the two for both of us wrapping around the hips and there's the three. So swing mechanics looking really nice at that point. But a couple of little things that I'm just going to point out. There's just some like here, let's have a look at the dip of my shoulder. So my right shoulder, I'm going to use this tool there. So if I do that as the horizontal, my right shoulder to my left shoulder, it's quite a nice severe position there. Whereas if I do the same on yours, if I do that as the horizontal, and then I go to your shoulder, you're definitely not dipping that shoulder enough. And that's where I think you're losing a little bit of power. So first thing I'd like you to do is get that shoulder underneath your chin a little bit more as you can possibly see from mine, but good starting position, good setup. And then this is where I think you also lose a little bit of power because that's ultimately what I want you to do. As you hit, it feels like you open up too much and just have a look at that follow through. A lot of the power gets dissipated because you open up and then you let that follow through go possibly more around you rather than a little bit further up. I know mine on the right is not perfect, but you can see that as I'm hitting on my one there, it lifts towards the end. It's going around and then it kicks up a little bit. That's part of the big difference there that I can, I'm able to really throw my racket head and almost flick the wrist and get it through there. I can just get a sense that if you notice yours, you're just losing a little bit of power. You're not quite transferring all of the stored up energy around here, all of these areas there that needs to store up. And if you just notice mine, it looks like my areas, my big areas of stored energy are more locked in. I haven't unlocked possibly as early as you are. And you just notice the front part of your chest throws open a little bit too early. So those would be the main points I'd take across there. And then other thing, I know you're tall, so getting down might be a little bit tough and it's a long way down, but I just feel that you're just slightly upright in that position. So if I just look at the leg position, and I know it's a different part of the court, but that leg position there is just a little bit too upright. I, still, I think you could possibly store some more energy in your knees and your hip area to be able to throw that ball through. But listen, some really nice stuff. I love that compact swing. I love that shape. One, two, three mechanics. Again, possible spacing. Last thing I'm going to make the point of, let's use this tool as the angle. So if I just draw it straight down here and then the angle of my arm there, and we'll just do yours again. So if we go straight down and the angle of your arm, I think it's a lot shallower, isn't it? Because, and you can just notice that you just don't quite have that same distance and that spacing. Again, it's not necessarily a true reflection, but if I use this, to my kind of my hand area, that's not probably quite the right one I'm looking for, but hopefully you can see you making the point that you look a little bit close. This is what I'm looking for. Actually, you can see the spacing between my elbow and my body. Mine feels bigger than yours. Yours feels a little bit cramped up. So listen, some good stuff there. Maybe a few little tweaks. Thanks for sending this in. And as always, if anyone wants to send some more in, please click the link in that description below. You'll be able to get your free swing audit and be able to make some impact sham. And if you do like it, please do share and pass this on. Thank you very much, everyone. Speak to you soon. Bye.